Uh, I found some lefties. I walked right by them before. I'll see if they're here. Attacking from the left. Uh oh. Ross Barkin. How you guys doing? Hi, can I, my name is Marcus Conti. I'm a uh, video YouTube blogger. Can I bring you into the frame? I do political news and stuff. I know who Ross Barkin is. I know Ross. I mean, hi, how are you doing, man? What's your name? My name's Zoran. What's it say it again? Zoran. Zoran, all right. And you're supporting Mr. Yep. Ross Barkin, our friend. I've interviewed him before. Yeah. That's Ross. Cool. He's uh, with friends on Facebook. So how's it going, man? How's it going? Today? It's going well. We're petitioning today uh, for a petition that we have on uh, subway accessibility. Okay. There are 12 subway stations in the district. Not a single one has an elevator. Uh, there are plans for 86th Street to get an elevator construction started in June, but we believe that every single station should have an elevator. Right. And just to clarify, Ross is... Um, Russ Barkin is running against. Uh, he's running for state senator yes. in New York, and he's uh, his, he's challenging uh, Marty Golden. Marty Gold. Right. Yes, state senator district twenty two. Uh, he's challenging Marty Golden, the incumbent who's been there for about two decades, coming close to two decades now. Um, who's someone we feel just has not done the work uh, of, a, of a representative, and uh, he's ignored a lot of issues, chief among them disability and accessibility with regards to the trains. Right. Yeah. That's good, man. I, I wish him luck. I mean, my fundamental, you know, issue with the Democrats is that when you know Sanders, Bernie Sanders came through town, that the the you know Democrats were kind of caught with their hand in the cookie jar, kind of cheating, you know. And so a lot of us, uh, a lot of us in the middle and on the uh, the extreme left, for lack of a better term, uh, wouldn't. You know, really not supporting any of the Democrats. No, there's, uh, there's, there's definitely a lot of problems within the Democratic Party. Um, How do we fix it? I think one way to fix it is to make sure that the left side of the party is is ascendant, is powerful, and is heard. Um, we can't we can't allow the people who've run the party into the ground over the last few decades uh, to continue having a stranglehold over the party. I mean, I was very disappointed with Tom Perez. Um, endorsing Cuomo. I mean, he's supposed to have, he had a stated goal of non-alignment in, in any local races when he came out and supported Cuomo over, over Nixon. So, uh, I think it is, that is, that kind of a decision is a legacy of, you know, what you were saying about people distrusting the party apparatus and how people felt cheated when Sanders came for the primary. We have to change that. I think one way to change that is to uh, is to make sure our voices are heard, and, and Ross is kind of running within that lane. Of yeah, he is. I know. I, I've had a conversation with him, and I like his platform. Yeah. But again, this was the fundamental uh, barrier that I presented to him. Is like, well, yeah, you could you could have you know universal health care for all, single payer universal health care, free college tuition, city state universities. You could have you know green new deal. You could want and have all those things, but how are you going to get it done? How are you going to? How do you look in the face of Exxon Mobil and say we want a Green New Deal? You know, uh, uh, you know. So how do we? How do we stop the, the corruption at the highest level? That's, I think yeah. that's a, no, it's a great question. That's the issue of our time. I think it, it definitely is. I, I think one. Example, and a lot of us. Let me just add yeah, one other thing: is that a lot of us feel that it can't really be done by reforming the Democratic Party, but rather than rather setting it on fire and letting it burn. And then whatever is left of it, let them come to us. That's, I that's hear you. Been, I mean, that's, 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 been the, that's been the theme. That's why it is also very quite exciting uh, that the, D, the DSA is growing in power uh, in terms of a local political operation. It obviously has a ways to go, but I definitely hear you about the issue of uh, reform right. versus revolution. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to jump out to get yeah, some yeah. signatures. All it's right, been sounds a good. Thank you very much yeah. for your time. No good worries, luck. No good luck in the election. Peace. That guy's pretty much uh, full of shit Democrat. He's a, not full of shit, but they, they believe strongly in there that they're going to reform the Democratic Party. And most people walking around probably believe, oh, look, he's a nice, honest young guy. Look at this guy. He's a young, uh, honest young guy. Right. But he's not going to get anything done, you know? Uh oh, voter registration. Can I be, hey, how you doing? My name is Marcus Conti. I'm a uh, YouTube blogger. And uh, can I bring you into my frame? Sure, for as voter registration? Yep. All right. So uh, let's, go, let's go on this side. The light is better this way. There we go. So, um, so what so you guys are out here on in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, and you're registering people to vote in the, what the Democratic primary? You got Democrats? Just registering. Just, just registering people to vote. Anybody can, uh, regardless of party, unless independent, uh, can. 
can uh, register to vote if they haven't already. And uh, we also have a table here where you can write your representatives, right. um, fill out some postcards right. uh, if you have a, an issue you'd like to bring to them. And we have, uh, yeah, and then we've got uh, some um, placards here uh, as to, uh, you can take a picture in our uh, photo booth that says, uh, I'm voting because... And you fill in your own reason for doing that. So try okay. and get the. Uh, Can I ask you a personal question about elections? Possibly. A lot of a lot of us, a lot of us uh, in the middle when Bernie Sanders came through town, we discovered a lot of a lot of hanky panky, and uh, we it was, it was became became hard when they purged two hundred thousand votes off the uh, voters off the rolls in Brooklyn alone. Yep. A lot of us found it very difficult and um, to trust the Democrats. And we, you know, we exposed a lot of widespread rigging and shutting down polling places. The uh, the, 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 the voter, the, uh, the the exit polls didn't match. So I'm not I'm not trying to put you on the spot. I'm just I think this is a lot of it is common knowledge. What I'm trying to get to the to the to the root is that there's a lot of good people like yourself out here trying to get people to vote. But how do we convince people that the vote counts? You know what I mean? Like it's not. You're not going to get stabbed in the back by the, you know, so the, there's like like Cynthia Nixon, for example, right? She's making a hell of a run against Cuomo from the left. Now, arguably, she's the better candidate, but I can I'll make a prediction. She's gonna she's gonna lose just by a little bit. She's gonna it's gonna be a 59, uh, a 51, 49 case. We have not taken votes. Right, that's my prediction. Or 47, 50. And, oh, it's good. Good job. Good job, Cynthia. Now get behind Cuomo. Right? That's that's what we're... How do we overcome the cheating? Yeah. Well, I think step one is vote, right? Okay. And step two is uh, is longer-term uh, voter and civic engagement, where we make sure that the people uh, that we're uh, helping to run for office yeah. uh, are the people that we know uh, locally and, um, and and can support and uh, will... will and this is... You asked it's personal. Yeah. So, uh, for me, I, I'm, I want representatives... That are in um, interested in representing me as and uh, and I'm their constituent and right. they have my best interests in mind. What if I told you that I was actually running for the United States Senate? My name is Mark Scott. I'm right, running as a write-in candidate. I'm taking on uh, uh, Justin Kill, uh, Gillibrand, whatever the hell it is. Justin Gillibrand, right? I'm actually a candidate. So okay. As a write-in candidate, you know, there's a couple of people watching. So, uh, but yeah, I, I mean. My, my my fundamental belief is you have to get the money out of politics. You have to you have to close the tax loopholes for corporations. You got to make college tuition free at state city and state universities. So you put some integrity back into the education system. You've got to make you got to make universal health care, single payer health care, a right in this country so that you get out the middleman. I, I don't want to preach to you, but that's some of some of Sanders is, and certainly Cynthia Nixon is on on board with. A lot of that, maybe not as extreme. I believe you have to raise the corporate tax rate to eighty percent, and and force the corporations to pay their fair share of taxes, right? Because we found that trickle down trickle down economics is basically a lie. It, didn't, it doesn't work, right? So, so you got to go more with FDR. The old guy down the block said that. I'm sorry, you're not an old guy. I know you're gonna watch it. But the older gentleman that's also running for office said that. And he pointed to FDR's New Deal, and a lot of us believe that that's what's uh, going on. And now I've I've I've, I've spoke more than than you, but uh, so so okay. So step one: register to vote. Register step two: vote. learn about the candidate. Step three: make sure they match and uh, they hear. What's your name? Uh, Stephen. Stephen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good speaking to you, Stephen. Nice to meet you. Good luck, mate. That's an interesting guy. That's that's like. Ground zero. Just vote. Just register to vote. Oh, sorry, man. Ran into somebody. <laughs> so I'm still trying to get um, the interview with Dan Donovan. I think he's the only, the only. Oh wait, 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 yeah. I went right by this guy. Justin. Oh yeah. So I went by him before. So this is. Uh, Yeah, they're all out on the streets. Justin here today. How you doing? Yeah, it's gonna be later on. Yeah, it's gonna be a later on. Oh, can I bring you into my frame? Can I bring you into my frame? My name is Marcus Conti. I'm here at the uh, Justin Brandon. He is the newly elected councilman in uh, uh, 
<laughs> Brooklyn, old piece of Staten Island? No, all Brooklyn? No, Brooklyn, all Brooklyn. Yeah, all, all Brooklyn. Yeah. He beat, uh, right. And, and he beat, uh, he beat, uh, John Baglione by close one. That was 50, yeah. 50 47. Yeah, so, uh, so Justin's gonna be here today. What's he, uh, he's gonna be here. He's gonna be late on this. Uh, we have a lot of events that's going on today. We have, uh, McKinley. That's going on. We have a family, uh, day. That's it. McKinley. Of course. That's happening. And, uh, so, uh, the chasm is all around, actually. He's gonna be here later on. Alright, so, I'll try to catch him. I'll try to catch him. Oh, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You don't actually get to see the politicians. Me, I'm running for Senate. I'm out here. <laughs> uh oh, same band. Want to hear another song? These guys are up. Top player, hear that? Let's get a guitar player. I'll try one more time for Dan Donovan. Don't chase people. I don't chase people. I ask once, if you tell me no, I'll tell you have a nice day. Kill it for now. 